<laughs> hey Titans, this is Captain Yeet here for you for another Teen Titans episode review and this is going to be episode 4 titled Forces of Nature. So, let's get into it and before we actually get into it, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to all you guys out there, good looking fellows and ladies. Yeah, I am uh, no Valentine's Disc of the Year for you good old boy Captain Yeet. I'm, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I didn't come here for me and Valentine's Day. Y'all came here for me and Teen Titans. So, let's go. Anyway, this episode starts off with a thunderstorm. It's going crazy outside. And you see two silhouettes. One silhouette looks like it's banging on a drum. And another silhouette is just dancing. Then we pan over inside the Titans Tower. And V's Boy has set up a trap for Cyborg. Why? Well, apparently Cyborg has messed up his hair dye. <laughs> I don't understand how this works. So... Beast Boy says that he made this contraption, because he's talking to Raven, that when he steps on a lever, when he walks around the corner, well, this piece of rope is going to affect all these levers and then throw all this motor oil in his face. And he says the reason he's doing this is because, remember when <laughs> Cyborg messed up his hair dye, well, you know, intentionally, messed up his hair dye, and he turned brown for like two days? This is just payback. I don't know how the hair dye made his whole skin go brown, unless you used it as shampoo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I said hair dye. Shampoo. He like he messed up his shampoo. He didn't say body wash. He said shampoo. That's only for your head. Yeah, I mean, yeah, with the shampoo does trickle down on your skin and stuff, but his whole body was brown. I don't understand that, Beast Boy, unless you're using shampoo as body wash. Unless I heard that wrong. <laughs> you're not using that right, man. Anyway, uh, right before they cut around the corner because they hear a noise, they think it's Cyborg. He grabs Raven, goes around the corner, and just waits for Cyborg to trip the lever or well, to trip the wire. And it's a pretty funny joke to where Raven, she looks at this contraption and she goes, please tell me this is another one of your stupid pranks. He goes, okay, I won't tell you that. It's one of my most brilliant pranks. And she goes, okay. <laughs> anyway, she goes, hey, what if, shh, but what if, shh, so, Cyborg appears right beside Raven and Beast Boy. Obviously, they're like, wait, if you're Cyborg, and that's not Cyborg walking down the hallway, then, and then it turns out it's Starfire. She trips the wire, all the mortar oil inside that water balloon starts to fly. Beast Boy tries to run and grab it, but it's too late, and it flies right into her face. She's kind of mad. She thought she did something wrong. Beast Boy, he's like, no, I, it was meant for... I, 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 <laughs> you know, you got to change that motor oil every two days, right? He tries to crack a joke, but Starfire is not too happy and calls him a Clorg bag. Obviously, he's like, what? What do you even do? How am I a Clorg? And then he hears in the distance, well, everybody hears in the distance, Robin. He goes, Titans, we got a problem. And then the thunderstorm flickers off and on again like the lightning. You see like this cool black and white transition. Well, not transition, but, you know, like just a flash of black and white on Robin's face. It was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Trying to make Robin look so mysterious and stuff. Look at this. He's like, Titans, we gotta go. <laughs> you can see the black and white is flashing on Robin. <laughs> I mean, that, that looked dope. And after that, we get the opening. After the opening, we cut over to Thunder and Lightning. These are the physical embodiments of the actual lightning element in real life in <laughs> Thunder. Which is pretty cool. They don't really explain how they were able to become this way. So I guess they just always were this way since the beginning. And they are just wrecking everything around them. They land on the bricks and they say, okay, brother, let's have some fun. So lightning charges up some lightning, throws it on the bricks like wires. And they start to like disconnect and go crazy and like explosions. And then Thunder's like, oh, okay, brother. That was pretty cool. But watch this. And he claps his hand together. You hear the big thunder boom. And all the cars on the bridge just flip over. That was pretty fun. And then Robin comes out of nowhere for the Titans. I don't know what you guys' sick idea of fun is. But this isn't fun. You're done doing this now. Who are you going to tell Thunder and Lightning what to do? Get them, brother. So all the Titans and Thunder and Lightning start to fight. Which is pretty cool. Now this is what Thunder and Lightning looks like. I, to, I, like, I think I like Thunder's... Uh, I think I like Thunder's design better. <clears throat> Excuse me, <laughs> I had to cough real quick. I like Thunder's design a lot better. Not to say Lightning design is bad. I just like how he looks a lot better than Lightning. But Lightning looks Lightning still looks pretty cool too. By the way, here they are. This is Thunder and Lightning. Uh, you see a better shot of them later on in the episode. This this isn't really a good shot. 
But you see a really way better shot later on. Anyway, a nice, a nice little detail I noticed throughout the episode is that Thunder, his eyes are like one big eye like Sonic. But every now and then when he like moves his eyebrows around for a motion or whatever, it turns back into like two separate eyes. But then it goes like right back into one eye. I mean, it does look, I mean, it's not like John's like, oh, it's bad and amazing. Like, it looks like, like you get used to it like really quickly. <laughs> you, you can tell what's going on but at the same time. It looks really like he looks really good with, with one big eye. And he looks really good with, like, two separate eyes. I noticed that throughout, so it's not like he looks bad and he looks good. Like, he looks good both times, so it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't really, like, take away from it, really. Anyway, like I said, everybody starts to fight them. And Star, as he chases lightning on rooftop, well, on car tops, just shooting at each other. Then Beast Boy, he tries to grab lightning as a panda bear, but he uses electricity and throws him away. Well, not throws him, but, you know, throws him a few feet back. Then we get this cool scene of Cyborg and Thunder, like, clashing each other. And then Thunder charges up a Thunder Beam. Cyborg does the same thing with his arm, with the arm cannon from last episode. And they clash, and a big boom happens, and they both get thrown back. Raven, for some reason, she, <laughs> instead of using magic, well, she does use a little bit of magic, but she just comes in on lightning and starts throwing kicks at her. I mean, throwing kicks at him. I'm like, these kicks are working, I guess, but... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, you was in magic. Why are you kicking at this man? It was like last episode. Like, she was just kicking. <laughs> I mean, or punching. Like, doing martial arts. I'm like, I mean, yes, that's working. But you are the magic user. Use some magic. <laughs> I mean, she does use magic later on. But still, that just didn't make any sense to me. And here's the cool scene I was waiting for. Where Thunder charges up his Thunder Beam. And then, well, that's not the official name. But that's just what I'm calling it. Charging up his Thunder Beam. Cyborg charges up his Sonic Cannon. They clash it and boom, they both get thrown back pretty hard. And that was that was pretty big. <laughs> that was pretty big. And Thunder, he can move around really freely by bringing a cloud in that he can just stomp on and just fly around like the Nimbus cloud from Dragon Ball. And Lightning, he just turns into Lightning and starts to fly around. Anyway, let me put this back on the TV. I don't want to burn the screen like my last TV. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I was back in the old days when my old TV had that burnt mark right on the middle. <laughs> had a smack dab in the middle of the screen. Anyway, um, after some fighting, like I said, Lightning was able to blast Beast Boy back a little bit. And Thunder comes up to Beast Boy and he goes, Oh, oh my goodness. I completely forget to show you guys that uh, cool team shot. Anyway, um, Thunder... He walks up to Beast Boy, and he's like, hey, get up. He goes, why are you doing this? Thunder's like, well, it is unfair to fight an well, unreasoned opponent. Like, you know, fight an opponent that's down. He goes, no, why are you and your brother just wrecking everything? Because it's fun. It is amusing. Beast Boy points at some civilians. Do they look amused? Thunder looks at them, and he goes, huh. He goes, what you're doing isn't fun. It's actually hurting people. This isn't right. And Thunder's like, um, like he starts to, you know, second guess what they're doing. But then Lightning comes over. He goes, you know, we don't have to deal with this. Let's go have some fun elsewhere. So he grabs, well, he doesn't, well, they do that later on, but they both fly away. And obviously Beast Boy and the Titan have to figure out where exactly they went. Beast Boy tries to start to, Beast Boy tries to talk to Starfire, but she's still mad and just walks away without even talking to Beast Boy. So Robin says, okay, I'll check downtown. Raven, you check the east. Cyborg, you check the west. Starfire and Beast Boy, you two go up in the skies and look for them. Beast Boy goes, um, can Cyborg come with me instead? Robin, Cyborg can't fly. Right. <laughs> he goes, ah, right. And then Cyborg comes over to Beast Boy. Have fun, my little clog bag. He starts to like pinch his cheek. He's like, okay, jeez. <laughs> keeps playing around anyway here's the really cool team set I was talking about when the Titans first made Thunder and Lightning <sighs> there we go pretty cool it's kind of sucks that it's kind of far away because you don't see them in good detail but hey it's, it's whatever <laughs> it's, it's whatever anyway let me get back to where it was uh, after the fight so we pan over to Thunder and Lightning and they went, we don't know exactly where they went, but they're just some random place. And Thunder and Lightning, well, Lightning starts to wreck the place like they were doing on the Briggs, but Thunder isn't moving. And Lightning's like, hey, brother, what's the matter with you? He goes, hmm, the green one said that 
us having fun and destroying things isn't isn't right. It's hurting people. Ah, I don't listen to him. We're having fun in our own way. We can do what we want. Hmm. You're right. So they both fly away to go cause some destruction. Then Starfire and Beast Boy come up to the same exact place they were just at, and they're looking around for thunder and lightning. Beast Boy cracks a joke, Starfire still isn't having it, and walks away. He goes, oh, come on, Star, you can't be mad at me forever. It was just a joke. He goes, come on, don't make me with the eyes. You can't resist the eyes. And what are the eyes? Beast Boy turns into a little cat with gigantic eyes. But she just looks at Beast Boy and keeps walking. He goes, what? See, <laughs> the eyes didn't work on her. He's like, he's so, he's so distraught. And so he's like, what? You gotta be kidding me. The eyes didn't work on her? This is crazy. And <laughs> this is what Beast Boy looks like when he does the eyes. I'm pretty sure maybe would have worked. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if she wasn't so mad at Beast Boy. But at the same time, it's like, if he would have done this to Cyborg, Everyone would have laughed. It would have been okay. But since the star... I mean, I'm not saying just because it's... I don't know. Part of me was like... Well, if this plan didn't work out the way it was supposed to and hit Cyborg... I don't know if Cyborg would be as mad since he did... Well, I, I guess he... I guess this would be payback. So he wouldn't be as mad. And Starfire didn't really do anything wrong. And she doesn't normally do the prank. So... Yeah, never mind. Okay. I, I was thinking about... Yeah, now that I think about it. Yeah, okay. I, I can see why she's kind of mad. Anyway, this is Beast Boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Beast Boy when he does the eyes. <laughs> anyway, Beast Boy goes, hmm, either they're long gone or maybe they just skip town. And then Thunder and Lightning like, yeah, you wish. And they come out of nowhere and they start to fight. And then it's Starfire versus Thunder and then Beast Boy versus Lightning. Beast Boy keeps turning into a ton of different animals. The dogs, the lightning, the lightning. <laughs> the dogs, the lightning, the lightning is throwing at him. And he goes, your animal forms can't protect you forever, Green One. And then Beast Boy turns into a ram and then trucks him. <laughs> trucks him and he goes flying. And then and ten, sorry. And then they switch dance partners. Then it's Starfire versus Lightning and Beast Boy versus Thunder. And Beast Boy turns into a bear and smacks him against well smacks Thunder against a wall. And then Beast Boy goes, Look, I don't wanna hurt you. I don't think you wanna hurt me either. You're hurting people. Your destruction is not fun. Like you're gonna hurt innocent lives with you guys just playing around like this. And Thunder, he tries to, well, not tries, he's starting to actually understand Beast Boy. He goes, hmm, maybe, maybe you're right. This doesn't look too fun as I thought. But then out of nowhere, this old guy comes from behind a rock. He has this little box and a little, um, it's like a jack in a box where you like twist the thing. He twists it and a big red beam comes out of nowhere. And everybody backs up like, whoa. And then a piece of rock falls on Starfire. And then Thunder and Lightning goes, who are you, old guy? I'm just like you. I'm unique. I'm gifted. I have strange abilities I co that comes from nature. So do you. You guys want to so if you guys really want to have fun, follow me. You shouldn't let these guys tell you what fun is and what fun isn't. You guys are na I mean, not nature, but you know, you guys are unique and gifted. You guys should be able to do whatever you want. So let's go have some fun. Follow me. So Lightning, he's all down for it. He starts to follow this random old guy. But Thunder goes, hmm. What's the matter, brother? The green one. He, the green one poisoned your mind. Now, come on. Stop, shut up about this green one already. We just have some fun. Who are they to tell us what to do? Then Thunder goes, hmm. Are any civilians are going to get hurt if we have fun wherever we're going? Is anyone going to get hurt? And then the old guy goes, well, no. But why does that matter if someone does get hurt? Lightning's like, yeah, come on, let's go. So they both just walk with lightning. I mean, they both just walk away with this random old guy. We don't really get a name for this random old guy. But this is what the random old guy looks like. Uh, and he has a huge hat. <laughs> I mean, his hat is gigantic. And before they all leave, Thunder does turn around and look at all the rubble. But he just keeps walking. This is what the old guy looks like. We don't really get a name. Even when he talks, it's not like, you know, his name. And then it says the subtitles for what he's saying. Normally he does that. But they don't get that with him. We have no idea who this guy is. Anyway, Beast Boy turned into a spider to hide all the rubble that fell on him. And he gets up and he starts breaking down a little bit. He goes, Star, you gotta be okay, right? And he starts to like grab all the rubble, throwing it to his side. He goes, come on, Star. It was just a joke. I didn't mean to. It's, I never got to say, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a claw bag. I'm sorry, Star. I'm so sorry. But then a shadow appears behind Beast Boy. He goes, huh? He turns around 
and a star fire. She goes, yep. I'm glad that you're unarmed too. I mean, I'm glad that you're unharmed too. He goes, Star! And he turns into the little cat that I saw you before. Starts to hug Starfire. And I forgive you. It's okay. Then now they gotta find Thunder and Lightning wherever they just went with those old with that old guy. And we pan over to Thunder and Lightning. And the old guy has a bunch of like little dummy targets lined up in the forest. And thunder and lightning starts to shoot them. Every time lightning shoots one. Lightning wasn't really down for it until he shot one. And it just burst into flames. And he's like, ooh, sparkles. <laughs> like, he goes, ooh, sparkles. And he starts to shoot all these targets. And they just burst into flames. Now, when thunder shoots them, they do burst into flames. But it's also an added effect to where fireworks come out of nowhere when thunder shoots them. And then thunder and lightning just start to fly around and shoot all these targets up. Now, when they're done shooting all the targets... This old guy has a disc in his hand and he throws the disc in the air and then all the flaming targets start to make a beam to connect them all. Then we get an outward shot and all these beams make like a human body. And then the old guy, he starts to yell, rise fire, rise. And this gigantic fire monster just gets made out of nowhere and starts stomping around the forest and he's heading straight for Jump City. Obviously, <laughs> that isn't good. And the Teen Titans... They get there as soon as he says that, and they try to help out to fight this thing, but <laughs> I'm going to show you guys here in a second. I mean, this thing is gigantic, and it's fully engulfed in flames. <laughs> it's fully engulfed in flames. Now, Lightning, he's really happy to see this. He goes, hmm, this is our creation. Let's have some fun with it. Well, at first, he didn't know what to do because Thunder, he was kind of sad about making this thing. But then the old guy goes, look, this is your creation. Go have fun with it. Go, go, go destroy things with it. Lightning's like, yeah, let's do it. So he flies up to go help. And so does Thunder because he just has to go along with his brother. And the Teen Titans, they get there too. And I'm looking at my screen because they do a really cool team shot when they get there. And then all the Titans start to fight this giant fire monster. But they do the best they can. <laughs> they do the best they can. Because this thing is like, it's, it's a giant. This <laughs> is Giant. Anyway, here it is. Here's a cool team shot. It's kind of weird because the glow from the giant fire monster is making Cyborg's blue parts look orange. And Raven looks like she has a mask. <laughs> you see? It looks like Raven has a mask. But <laughs> that's kind of funny. Anyway, all the Titans start to fight this thing. Now, Raven says this thing can't burn anything if it doesn't have anything to burn. So he does Azeroth, Mestrion, Zinthos, and starts to grab a ton of trees and push them out the way. And Robin goes, that's the right idea. Starfire, Cyborg, uh, Beast Boy, help her out. So Beast Boy turns into a ram, knocks down some trees. Starfire is exploding some trees. Cyborg, he runs up on the fire monster, punches the ground with his pulse cannon, and makes this huge, cool-looking pulse beam that knocks up a ton of dirt onto the fire monster. And it does put it out for a few seconds. And Beast Boy goes, um, are we done? But then it relikes itself and he goes, Roar! And Raven goes, Oh, you just had to say something. So now they gotta go back to fighting that thing. <laughs> but that was a really cool sequence though. I really liked that. Everybody working together to knock down the trees, especially when Cyborg did his huge like pulse beam in the ground. I mean that was pretty cool. Look at this. He goes, huh? Punches the ground, huge pulse beam, it hits the monster, it does take it out. Eh, for a few seconds, but <laughs> you know, it does take it out. Oh, I didn't even realize this was a pretty cool team shot, too. Of all the Titans together, <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh my goodness, I text the lamp. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's not, that's not too bad. Anyway, um, Robin he starts to fight the random old guy because he can tell that he's commanding thunder and lightning and the giant fire monster while everybody else fights the fight. Fights the giant fire monster. The lightning, he starts to fight everybody else too. So now it's like a three, two, well, three-way battle. You got Robin fighting the old guy. You got the Titans fighting the fire monster and lightning. And then Thunder and Beast Boy <clears throat> look like they're finna fight, but then, they, but then they both just talk it out as a tiger in the silhouette of Thunder. It's really cool animation scene I want to show you guys here. And it's a really cool deep uh, thing that Beast Boy says to him too. Look right here. So they both start to fight. <clears throat> Beast Boy runs at him. So does Thunder. And then it transitions to this cool looking animation. To where Beast Boy and him are talking. I do not wish to harm you. But you want to destroy homes and innocent lives. No. Then what are you fighting for? 
my brother and I, the old one says we are unique, gifted, better. Gifts don't make you better, just different. It's how you use them that counts. Hmm. And then we come back. I'm like, yo, that that was nice. <laughs> that was a really cool animation scene. And like that, that was that was kind of deep too with Beast Boy. I didn't know he was that much of a talker like that. You know, that's smart right there. That was nice. <laughs> anyway, um, Thunder, he hits lightning. So he starts to fight him off. While the rest of the Titans are fighting the giant fire monster. And while they're fighting the, while they're fighting the giant fire monster, we cut back to the fight. And cause we, we, we don't really see them fighting the giant fire monster for too long. We just see them all grab some water and throw it on the fire monster. But it's not really doing too much. And lightning pushes Thunder against a rock. And then Thunder goes, so brother, are we still having fun? And then Lightning goes, uh, and then he goes, look, brother, observe. And he sees the fire monster getting closer and closer to the town. He goes, look what we've done. Look, we're going to kill innocent lives. For what? For our petty games? We need to help them, brother. Be better. I mean, <laughs> sorry. That was Kratos. <laughs> but, but, you know, he's like, we need to help them. Lightning, he starts to think about it, and that's exactly what they do. But Lightning's like, what are we supposed to do? No, no, no. My bad. Actually, I'm going to read the subtitles because I, I messed that up. We must help. Uh, But how? Our gifts can only destroy. True. But together, we have another gift. And then he goes, hmm. So they grab each other. They fly up into the sky. And they do that same, like... Uh, silhouette dance that they did at the beginning of the episode and they make a thunderstorm and they also make it rain and it rains so hard to where the th the fire monster gets killed so hooray <laughs> you know and we get this really cool shot of both of them in the sky when they fly up in the sky we just see like a silhouette of them when the thunder goes crazy and the lightning I mean that looked really cool when they did that <laughs> I mean that looks really dope we see them dancing around in the clouds and we just see them both standing right next to each other as thunder and lightning, the natural elements of a thunderstorm. Well, thunder, right? You can't tell me that doesn't look cool. You can't tell me that doesn't look cool. Anyway, like I said, the rain kills them, and the lightning starts to go crazy or everywhere. And then one lightning bolt hits the old guy while he's fighting Robin, and then the old guy falls to the ground and he gets up, and his face starts to crack away. Robin's like, "What the heck?" And then you can see part of his real face in a slade in disguise. He goes, Slade. Slade drops a smoke bomb. He disappears. And then he grabs the same disc that he used to throw up in the air to make the fire monster. He goes, oh, Slade. Then we cut back down to everybody cheering and happy that they defeated the fire monster. Thunder says that he's sorry for all the innocent lives he endangered and all the chaos they caused. So does Lightning. And then we get the last scene of the episode. He gets all the Titans standing over Jump City. Robin gives the disc to Cyborg. And he goes, hmm, okay. So Slade wants to destroy the city. But why? Robin goes, I don't know. But I'm, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make sure I'm going to find out. And then we get the credits. So <laughs> that's about it I got for you guys today. And oh, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad. Beast Boy does ask Starfire if he's still a Clark bag. She goes, no, you're more of a... I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to read the subtitle for what Starfire said. But I don't know if I'm going to get it right. <laughs> I miss a whoop whoosh so loop a whistle loop so as he calls him a whistle loop Beast Boy goes really? I'm not a court bag let's go Beast Boy I'm a whistle loop let's go baby I'm a whistle loop then he goes wait a second is that is that better than a court bag? and Starfire looks at him and laughs and flies away he goes hey Star, is that better or what? Is that better or what? And then the credits roll. I forgot about that last scene. I don't know how. I don't know how I could have possibly forget about that last scene. But anyway, here's a really cool talk. I mean, here's a really cool shot of a rainbow on the Titans Tower and all the Titans looking over Jump City. Really nice. Really nice stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the end of the episode. So like I said, again, happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I see you all later. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all there for being wonderful human beings. And I see you guys next time. Bye bye. All right. I did that backwards.